okay let me stop laughing some people send some messages you know they say that I should stop shouting when I talk you understand I notice there's quite a lot of people that have been speaking for the longest time you know and they take the time when they talk and even lower their voice and they don't use cuss words, they don't use none of that stuff okay meet privy cadex I am none of the above I say it like it is I don't know how to you know make things sounds good when it's not good and I don't know how to make it feels better when it doesn't feel better when it doesn't feel good you understand what I'm saying I say it like the way I see it you know because the truth of the matter is that if you pay attention to the world our world today there's quite a lot of Nigerians all across the globe there's probably Nigerian in almost every country on the face of the planet okay maybe like I should say that in every continent you understand and you know to me I take that to heart I don't know about other African nations they can also have somebody speaking for each and every one of them you understand I can easily say that I represent Africa as a whole but at the same time I have to start from my local village I'm a Nigerian and the fact is that there's quite a lot of very very intelligent and smart people from Nigeria all across the globe and it's only they're really happy where they are you know stand they're just there you know kind of like you know standing you know kind of like tolerating the moment you understand you can go ask guys in Malaysia females in Malaysia you can ask people in you know UK you can go to you know Germany you can go to Europe all the seven continents and go ask those Nigerians are you guys really happy living over there you understand because number one if they're so happy living in this country then how come they're every time they make that little lump sum or that money or whatever they, if that little change that they get their hands on they'll pack all that money to come build a house that is only sometimes most of the time is only lizards and cockroaches that are staying there meaning that they're living empty houses in africa and they can't live there you understand because if they live there they will not have something to eat they will not have work they will not have job they will not have anything to do so they end up living this property and then after a while living in for riches and lizards they allow their probably cousin and brothers and sisters to stay there and sometimes they might have to like you know rent it out to strangers and things like that do you think it's really convenient for us for people living abroad okay you know what let's assume okay yes i came here because my parents came here okay let me look at my whole entire family okay you know some of them were doctors accountants you know what else business people you know lawyers and you know many great talents you understand you know even uh what do you call these people that do that civil engineers and things like that and you know they manage big 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 projects that i can you know that can't even go into details for you you understand but they did all this for united states of america that is the fact some of these projects that they did you know they did it for this country like you know one of my uncle right now that have stroke he has spent all his life yeah, more than 40 to 50 years in united states of america because this is all he, he ever know and the time that okay his colleague went to nigeria to go build something i remember that doctor wanted to go build a clinic they use a machete or what they call it is it machete you know cutlass to cut a machete or whatever it's called to cut his him and his wife they had to rush them back to united states of america it's not like it's really convenient for them people wants to come back home they want to come back home they are tired they are tired of this environment it's not like it's favoring them they're just tolerating it just tolerating the moment you know it's not like it's okay they don't want to feel like you know it's they don't belong here that's just the truth they don't it's like you are a visitor you're an alien no matter what you're an immigrant there's an alien number tagged to you you understand what i'm saying you're not an american you're not, uh, you know, you know, you're not from London. You're not from whatever it is called, whatever country you are in. You're not from Italy. You're not from Malaysia. You're not from Canada. You're not from none of this place. No matter what it is, even when you are naturalized by some of these nations, you're still a naturalized citizen. You're not from there. And if they have their way to come back home and establish and be good, they will. There's quite a lot of our children across the globe. They are not happy. And you no, know, and for me to see a politician come out here they smile they you know people say yes sir yes sir today what kind of fucking yes sir? what kind of kind of fucking connection are you looking for i am not looking for a connection connect for connection or connection i'd rather drink gary and you know peanuts or eat a dead big bear than to sit and be asking for stupid connection i don't need money I don't care about it you know what i'm saying the only connection that i need right now is give me a connection let me come build the road for you if you cannot build it i will gather all the engineers together i'll gather everybody together to come build that road since you cannot build it you've been there in that position for years constantly for the past 55 years or more and you still can't build a functioning system
I went to medical center in Houston, Texas. Many of you guys, I don't want to mention your name because I know that you've come there for treatment. You go to medical center, people, your entourage is follow you. Like, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, my yes, my colleague, yes, my colleague, man, let me not cuss you out. Let me come down. You they say yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, to you. And all this, yes, sir, yes, sir, you enter those medical center, you see how beautiful they were. You know, they're all equipped. Hospitals side by side, government hospitals, more than 15 in one location and they have different kind of treatment from dental to all kind of health cancer treatment and so on for the citizen of the united states and for even immigrants you see what i'm saying people that don't that don't belong here why can't you also take the same concept and build it we have the money yes sir yes sir it's not getting us anywhere our children are suffering many of them they've put themselves into bad situations that they are stuck in jail in this country in america you commit a sudden crime they'll keep you in jail for 10 years before they deport you back to africa that is the truth there are many of our children right now in jail out of desperation out of the fact they cannot have things to eat they don't have food to eat, they don't have to pay rent they don't know ways to to to, to go around they put themselves and because this is what is happening to american children too that is the truth black people are already having a hot life in this environmental place of an alien so to me it is very very important that some of these politicians they need to wake up you come here, yes sir, yes sir. We are tight. No more, yes sir. No more, mister. Agagun, okay, fix the shit. Fix it. Get it done. Not like, oh, yeah, my children started abroad. And so what? So you're building low self esteem in the ones that are left in Africa. Are you going to leave? Are you going to give visa to 200 million Nigerians to move out of Nigeria? Because I want to know. Give 200 million Nigerian visa to move out of Nigeria. Because number one, my children started abroad. So because your students studied abroad, they are better than the ones that are in Africa. Are you telling the truth that you're paying like three times the amount that a regular citizen pay here in the United States for those children to go to school? If a child, if it's going to cost a child to go to school here in the United States, let's say it's $12,000 per semester, it's going to cost an, a Nigerian three times the amount. That is the truth because you are you're considered out of out of state out of uh, out of country student and that is the fact you know, you're spending all these millions and billions on education the same education you can build something that you can build yourself where many of those professors that are teaching those students are also nigerians in the environment you know what i'm saying you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars for treatments abroad when you can build the same hospitals in nigeria and you come here and you pay the full full the, the full amount and extra for accommodation. You're spending so much in other man's country to build their economy. Don't you see that something is missing in your brain? You're missing screws. I'm so sorry, sir, for insulting you. I'm so sorry, man. But the truth is that it's time for us to wake up and build something. Our children are suffering. The suffering out here. What is the essence of making six thousand and you don't have nothing to show for it? What is the essence of making all that money and you cannot come home and be safe? What is the essence of the people that that that, that at home? They are they are so. It's normal for an average Nigerian to see them in a public place. You know that they are Nigerian. You can tell by their nose or some eye, you know their eyes or their cheekbone. You know what I'm saying? And they will deny being a Nigerian. That is an insult. My people should be confident to say, I am a Nigerian. I'm an African. I don't care what part you're from. You know what I'm saying? If you're Hebrew, you're Hebrew. If you're Hausa, all that tribalism, book crap, they need to go. If you're Yoruba, you're Yoruba. If you're Ijo, you know, if you want to go back to the time of our forefathers, we can go back to that time when you say, um, Your Majesty, KBSO, you cannot be talking about tribalism. We are all one. We are all Africans. For God's sake, all people in the north are suffering. They are suffering to the tail. People in the south, they are suffering to the tail. People in the east are also suffering, for God's sake. And the west is also suffering. Enough is in there. It's, 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 it's more than enough. It's enough. And it's so sickening that somebody is going to be telling me that I should talk with lower tone. All the people that have been talking with lower tone, what have they done for you? Your pastor shouts in front of the mic every day. Why can't he be preaching to the politicians and start, start a campaign or start a movement to stop all these leaders from doing evil things to us? Are we not tired? When it comes to the medicine area, health is jacked up. When it comes to transportation, it's also jacked up. When is this thing going to stop? Education is on the lowest. It's true, we are known as number one when it comes to our institution in Africa, but we can do more, we can do better. 
we can do back we can do way better and many of us you know we finally use their uh, um, all latter the, the father was a uh, carpenter and the mother was a plantain seller and they will now finally put this money together to send the children to school and these children will finally get, a, uh, get get out of university and they can't even get a job they'll be sitting around for months years in the house they can't get a job many of our children have turned to prostitution in nigeria itself you go to Allen Avenue, you go to all those Ikeja area, they are standing there at night on the street. You go to Victoria Island, the same thing. They, they, they're standing in Abuja, selling their bodies. Your children are selling their bodies, both male and female. They're selling their bodies abroad. They're selling it in the United States. They're selling it in Italy. They're selling it everywhere. In France, every fucking way. Why do we have to be objects? Why can't we be treated like a subject? It's sad. And many of these children, after a while, they can't do nothing. They become criminals in society. Then you'll be killing them. But the ones that are stealing money, you don't go after them. You tell them, yes, sir. There's something wrong. We need to wake up. It is time to wake up. Don't hate me because I'm saying the truth. Hate me if you want. I don't care. But don't hate me because I'm saying, saying the truth. Do something. Do something about it. Fix it. It's tiring. The world is moving on when it comes to technology the world is moving on when it comes to social so, 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 social issues they're moving on when it comes to the environment they're moving on when it comes to politics but what what the fuck are we still stagnant why are we still stagnant in the same position it's ridiculous for now the children will not come here so the worst one they will finally get the visa and run out of nigeria and come here and start all over and be useless again some of them will now start going back to school. Some of them will now marry people that they don't really love. Buying rebellious children in the society is not good. We can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. I repeat, it's something that we're doing here. Why can't we also face our issue as a Nigerian? At least this year. Agent H, Nigeria is the heart of Africa. They noted as the most popular black nation in the world. We should not be known for corruption. We should stand up and be known for greater things. We should represent. Other African nations should be looking up to us and be like, okay, you know what, this is the headquarters. You know, this is the nation. This is a great nation. So they can learn from us. Not all bad things. Not just killing and tribalism in 2017 and rioting and fighting over chicken and chicken and cows imagine that how stupid can that be it doesn't make no damn sense it should be a time that we wake up and let every citizen stand up and start fixing the environment you might take my word as a joke you might say i'm only a one-man warrior but one person can change the whole planet it might be you stand up and start speaking out speak out don't be afraid Armies should not be sh killing people like chickens. Police should not be killing people like chickens. They're supposed to protect the citizens. They're supposed to protect the society. Not kill them. Not treat them like anything. You know what I'm saying? The security system is jacked up. Every fucking thing is jacked up. Everything just a jagger jagger. When is it going to stop? Our children should not be looking for connection to become people in life. They should be looking for position, not connection. Imagine you have to wait for connection before, you know, it's all about destiny. Who told you that it's all about destiny? God did not tell you that. God said it's all about you. That was why he gave you that power from Genesis to control things, to take care of them. He did not say it's all about destiny. You are destined to become great. You don't need no fucking connection. Connect that from connection. Treat everybody equally. Don't put a farmer in an engineering position. Don't put an engineer in a medical position. Don't put a toilet cleaner in a politician <laughs> toilet cleaner in a political position. It doesn't make sense. People that deserve that position should get that position. The distance between the old and the young is too is too far apart. The old should respect the young and the young should respect the old. It's too far. It's so fucking far. Within the political sector, some of those old people that are still working in the uh, government offices, you need to give them their retirement. Let the younger peppy people enter the office and start doing what is right. Put computers, put technology there. There's no reason why we should be using second hand of every other fucking.
fucking nation. This is 2017. I look cool. God, what they call it, you know, whatever they call it, that fucking name in Yoruba. There's no reason why we should be eating the leftover food of other nations. The, like I said in one of my videos, you know, the, 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 the ambulances for, 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 for killing fire, I mean, whatever you want to call it, look like something that they use in Germany in World War II. There's no reason why we should have old ambulances like that, fire, fire trucks. We need equipment. We need everything to be adequate within the waste management, within every damn thing. We need everything to be together. It's time for you to start giving the right people the contract to get the job done. There's no reason why a building should be burning in front of me for hours. And there's nobody there to save people out of that building. And people are carrying plastic to stop fire. There is no reason why there should be an accident with more than 20 people in the, in, in the truck. And it's strangers on the street that will start be pulling the people out. And it took ambulances more than one hour to even make it to the location. There's no reason why we should be having negligence in our environment on simple things that can be taken care of and be fixed. Simple thing that can be taken care of. The fire light, the, 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 the light pole fall, somebody should be there to take care of it as soon as possible. Should, people should not be driving around it until they get electrocuted. There's no reason for all that nonsense. Negligence is one of the greatest things that is killing our people. I bikita, not caring, not having a heart. How can you be a human and you wake up every day and you're driving through all that quote, quote, stupid road? Even if you are living in a mansion and you are inconveniencing yourself, you yourself as a politician, you are not really happy. Because if you are happy, then, then, then that means you are mental. Because if you are making all this money and you go to show off in all these nations for one month and you come back and build all the mega millions dollars houses, you still have to drive in that rough road. And the sad part is some of you politicians are even dying on that road. But you can fix it. Why not fix it? Why is it there and hedge with all the with, 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 with all the smart and intelligent people that we have in our society? We still don't have electricity. It doesn't make no damn sense. We have all the resources. We have what it takes to make it work. We should be talking about how we're going to make it work. Give the job to the right people and let them do it. The money that you are packing, you are not packing it anywhere. Money is nothing. It's paper, liquid. Use it rightly. It is when you make liquid solid, that is when you can be noted as a rich person. But when you are rich, you call yourself rich. Listen to me. You call yourself rich and you don't recognize the next person next to you. You are a very poor person. Poverty. You are poor. You are, peer, you are really, really poor. It's only a poor man. That will not see. You know what I'm saying? A rich person is supposed to see. You understand? So if you have that money and you cannot make use of it, you are a poor person. If you have that money and there are mental people on the street and you're suffering and you, you see them every day and you're not caring for them, you are a poor person. If you have that cash and you think you are rich and you're not caring about the model, the, the motherless baby home, people that are people that are dying while giving birth, people that are suffering every day, walking up and down the street, you are a poor person. You are a very poor person. You are an illiterate. So that is the thing. We need to stand up for our rights. No connection. For connection. Give the position to the right people. And in this new new time, that we're, this new year that we're about to enter to, all the young people across the globe, you guys should start recording. God said this is our time. We need to stand up for our rights. We will not take this shit no more. We are not taking it no more. Our children want to come back home. The children of Israel want to come back home. We want to come back home and live for good because it's our land. It's only a fool that will carry the treasure of his father's house to go build a stranger land. It's only a fool that will carry the treasure of his land to go give another land. You need to build your home first before you see other homes. Build your house. Leaders, there's no reason for you having all this FT money. Be calling billions and trillions and your states are jacked up. There's no reason for you having all this money and your villages look like something from 1800s. There's no reason. All that world are looking at you when they tell you yes sir. They're looking at you like monkeys. That is the truth. They laugh behind your back. Don't you know that? 
They call you corrupted country. You smile. It's not funny. You are a fool. It is time for you to stand up and fix it. I'm so sorry. I just have to tell you this damn truth. This thing can be fixed. Give me the job. If you cannot do it, I promise you I will do the damn job. Even at my age. It took only Solomon from the age of eight years old to run a country. He was only eight years old and he ruled a country as a king. So what is your home position as a man if you cannot make a nation? They say Solomon built a building that touched the sky. Even when they did research on Solomon, they say till date, there has never been any man that is as rich as him. If they were to evaluate Solomon today, based on the business insider, they say Solomon had more than $1,000 trillion in gold reserve so that is exactly what i'm saying build this thing you are old enough to take care of this thing take care of it god put you in the position fix it fix it shit